are only twenty dollars. Tans. You got some tans? And they're kind of dirty, but Jordan threes in there. I don't know if you can see that. These are a nice colorway. We got some 95s, triple black. 30. Do you think these Balenciagas are one real or two of a good price? Prada. Uh-oh. Good morning. Good morning. We just drove an hour to Daytona Beach. We're doing something, we're switching it up today. We are hitting a couple thrift stores that we've never been to. I don't know, I feel like this place looks familiar. I might've been here before, uh, but then again, all the Goodwills in Central Florida look Similar. Similar, there's like two different models they have. Anyway, we're here, there's a nice route that takes us all the way back home. We're gonna hit several Goodwills. It's gonna be a full day of thrifting today. So we're just gonna, we're gonna see if we can find some underpriced shoes to resell online. They are opening in about six minutes, so we're about to pop in and uh, see what we can find. This must be a good one, because there's like people standing outside, like waiting for the doors to open. Yep, there's and it's a, not half off day. There's a dude in a beanie with a Starbucks coffee in his hand. Definitely so. a reseller. Definitely a reseller. <laughs> All right, so we feel like this might be a good spot because yeah. there's rarely a line opening Goodwill like that. Um, especially on like not half off. At least around here, yeah. Well, I don't know. We've never really been here. Well, I mean, I mean the ones in Orlando. <laughs> You're making things up. I guess this one is just significantly better than the ones in Orlando, so we'll see. Go ahead. Thank you. Oh, I'm, I'm walking right past shoes and I didn't realize it. It's $15 for these gurus. Um, I'm gonna think about it. That's kind of expensive. And here's some Adidas, also 15. Yellow's half off. These are green. Probably pass on those for 15. It's in good condition. Good tread on the bottom. Women's size 9, they are 15. This lady was on my heels with that thing. These are also 15. You already know you can save some green when you shop at Goodwill. 15 for these Hoka track shoes. I don't know what these go for. I'm gonna look into them. Yellow's half off. This is pretty generic, but they're really clean. Only 750. Definitely gonna pick those up. I feel like I need to go find the men's shoes. There's a lot of shoes. There is a lot of shoes. Oh, looks like 574s over here. Big size. $14. Men's 13. That's not bad. I'm gonna put them in the cart and think about it. Some Crocs. These are 20. What you got? These are really clean and they're 15. Brooks, nice. The Trace is kind of cheaper. Still for 15, that's not bad. I see some Ufos over there. Some more Justins for 40. Super clean, but just a cheaper model. I hope this music isn't too loud. $25 for these Metcons. Here are the Ufos. Good tread on the bottom. Only six bucks. $20 for these Brooks. Gonna have to pass on that. These Giannis's for 25. Just do it, Air Force Ones. 13, just got too much heel, heel drag on the bottoms. All right, we got some CrossFit lifters, but they're 25, so we're gonna have to leave those. $25 vans, we got $18 for these Brooks Walkers. We got some Air Max 90s for 20, that's probably a good grab. Definitely gonna grab these for 20. OxyClean is gonna clean the tops of these really good. And then some Vapor Max right next to them for 25. They are a women's eight and a half. This material is a little harder to clean. It's like a, it's not plastic, but it's like a plasticky feel to it. So I'm gonna leave those, especially for that price. Ten dollars for these NMDs. Um, women's size nine. NMDs just really aren't moving for me. At least the women's models. Some of the, some of the good men's sizes do still move pretty good for me, but not the women's. Those are twenty-five for the five seven fours. We got some ninety fives, triple black. Thirty. It's a good price. They don't have insoles. Insoles can be replaced. I don't know. I'm gonna have to do some research on these. See if they're worth grabbing at thirty. More brooks. There's a ton of brooks here. These are only thirteen. Good tread. Women's nine. Some sort of hunting boot. Chippewa. Is there Chippewa? I feel like the soles are kind of dried out though. I really don't know. I feel like if these are in good condition, it's probably a good find for 30. <sighs> I really hope I can get some audio out of this because the music is really blaring. Hopefully the speakers aren't directly above women's too. Carly's back. They have so much stuff here. They do have so much stuff here. I can see why there's a line. Yeah. 7Y. I'm gonna leave these just because it's missing an insole. Did you look through any shoes? Yeah, I walked through them all. All of them? You didn't find anything? $25. I've sold this model before, the 3M Adidas. These are men's 12 and a half. 25 is just a little too much. Those go for decent money, but that would only be like a $15 profit at that price. Some Hirachis for 20. Pass on those. I see Hoka peeking out at me. They are 25, uh, but they are pretty worn. 
They are the newer model, Bondi 8. Yeah, for 25. Unfortunately, probably gonna leave them. We got some Nike slip-ons. Just a little too dirty. Some Karyumas. 15, that's too much for those. These are pretty. You're pretty. <laughs> some more Hoka's. Profiles. Only seven bucks. A little snag on the fabric there, but it's not a tear. Kind of nice. Good condition. No insoles on these Brooks. Addiction walkers for 13. Some Project Rocks. Definitely need a deep clean. I think Oxy, I mean, they're only 10 bucks. OxyClean will clean that up pretty good. I think these will come good. Come clean in the wash. These are Fabletics. Fabletics? I didn't know they had shoes. Yeah, they, they don't sell for much. Neither do the clothes. Did you yeah. grab these? No, these are vintage Havana. The Simpsons fans? They were Simpsons fans? Yeah, but they were dirty and they were like $21. Alright, well. But oh, now well. that someone else grabbed them, I realize I should have grabbed them. Got some vintage Havanas for $12. They're in really good condition. I'm still just like testing this brand out. We picked up one a couple videos ago, still hasn't sold. They saw that brand at TJ Maxx. Yeah, I know they sell it at TJ Maxx, but there's, I mean, there's comps on eBay for like pre-owned ones around forty to fifty dollars. So we'll uh, we'll keep trying it, trying our luck. Oh, indoor super. These are nice. Adidas, somethings. These will probably be worth picking up at fifteen. Did you see kid shoes? I have those in my hand too. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta trust your gut. I know. I was gonna say that our goal today was to be like speedy in these stores since we got so many to hit. Yeah. But this store is jam freaking packed. Yeah. Um, when we got here, I was walking this aisle looking at shoes, mm -hmm. and this lady with a clothing rack was like on my tail. And like, I, I wanted to look at some bricks, so I just stopped, and she just like, <laughs> and clothing hangers fell on the ground. It sounded like she was complaining under her breath. I was just like, why she was she in right behind hurry. me? Oh wow, they have a ton of video games on this thing. Probably nothing good. Got SSX, feels empty. Confirmed empty. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm getting distracted. I need to go through all these shoes. And um, so I'm gonna stop this here. I'll update you on what I keep and what I leave behind. Then we can get out of here. All right, so after checking condition and comps, everything down here, I'm keeping. So we got some pretty decent stuff. The Air Max 90s are nice. Uh, these will actually sell for like $50 plus shipping. So good finds here, but unfortunately all this is getting put back. I would have picked these up for 30 if they had the insoles, but since they don't have insoles, I don't really wanna deal with them. If, if I did grab them with insoles, it would only be like a double up, $60 plus shipping. So gonna put them back for that. A few older model Brooks. These Ufos were pretty worn and just other stuff had flaws. So gonna put this back and next door. So, oh. all right. So after our little trip in there, do you think that uh, the weight out front justified? You think it was like made sense? I think yes, just because of the amount of stuff that was in that store. Yeah, they did have a lot of stuff. There were people um, looking up the like electronics and toys and stuff. I Makes sense. They it, it was a pretty typical Orlando or not Orlando, but Florida Goodwill. I feel like they had a bunch of decent stuff, but it mm -hmm. was pretty expensive. Yeah. And you know, I only got nine pairs. Spent one hundred and forty dollars on nine pairs. Mm. Yeah. So uh, I don't know. There's another Goodwill here in Daytona. We're gonna head on over there. So we'll see you guys there. You guys definitely can't see this. This Tanger Outlets has everything. Literally everything. I think next week we need to come back and, and there's go, a, go to the Tanger I'm just really excited. There's a Bucky's right there. I hate Bucky's. You know They're this. cream soda. Their soda's all right. He's just saying this for the camera. It's always, I'm not saying this for the camera. It's always ridiculously busy and their barbecue sucks. Let's just leave it at that. I like their other foods and their cream soda. It's not worth it. I'd rather just go to a nice, chill, laid-back gas station. Okay. Um, we're on the road again. Gotta go, Bucky. On the road again. Yeah, this one does look small. All right, so we have arrived at the next Goodwill. Um, this one looks terribly small. small. This is the fun part about going to new areas to thrift, is you get to check off all the ones you don't want to ever come back to. We could pop off in here. Yeah, we could pop off in here. I'm just saying, you know, it's just, it's just part of the process. You know, you gotta, you gotta get the bad ones out of the way to learn where the good ones are, am I right? Right. Right. All right, maybe this won't be a bad one. I'm gonna get you open the door. <laughs> I'm just gonna, I don't, I'll grab a basket. Are you going through the home stuff? Uh, yeah, I was gonna. Okay, we're already popping off. Really? Yeah, we got some Danners for 15. Do you need a cart? Uh, no, I'm not like popping off quantity wise. Would you pick up these Burks for I mean, 15? These are clean. 
for 15, not the... Not the flops. Not the, the plastic ones. Oh. But there's some regular Burks over here. These are 20, but these look brand new. Yeah, I'd grab these for 20. See, we were talking crap on this place before we got in here for no reason at all. I got two pairs of Birkenstocks. Yeah, 15. I'll take it. Is this a good one or no? Um, actually, yeah, this is the Isabella, I'm pretty sure. I'll double check, but, but they're one in size 10. And... Where's the cigarette smell coming from? I don't smell it. I'm gonna pass on those since they're one in 10. Big size. These are Tory. Those are really more. Yeah, they're destroyed. Uh, more fake golden gooses. I feel like I'm gonna find some golden gooses today because I've seen like eight fake ones. <laughs> oh, we got some Ariat boots right here on the end for 25. 25 bucks is probably, oh, the toes are destroyed on those. Some more Ariats for 25. I'm gonna look these up. I think that's a, that's a good looking model. Did you see the cowboy boots on the end in the front? They um, like, I couldn't find a brand, but they like feel really nice. Let's check them out. Like they got these cool, like, I don't, I don't know, there's no brand. Probably just there's some Sperry boots down here for 25. That's too much. These are Peter Millar. Pretty good vintage. Oh, they have some rough heel drag. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're kind of rough. I'm gonna leave those. Oh, some Hoka's. 25 in excellent condition. Echoes are 15. Yeah, I saw those in the past. Oh. I learned that this isn't clean up. Yeah, they don't. These are only twenty dollars. Yeah, this is this was the spot. This is crazy. Twenty dollar Kobe's. A little yellowing on the bottom, but like the tread's still pretty good. Twenty bucks. Men's twelve and a half. Rare size. And these hokas are so clean. Look, this is pretty cool. It's from 1982, it's still in the box. It's like a... I'm selling four bucks? Yeah, I'm gonna look it up, but I wanna Is that a brand video. you know? No. But I just like that it's still in the box. Yeah. All right, I was talking so much crap on this place before we walked in, but I found some pretty good stuff. So don't listen to me. Let me just redact everything that I said on the way in. Um, sometimes the small ones pop off, but we got a... We got a drive coming up. I don't need this. You don't need that? So I'm not gonna get it, but like it, it could be like a, I could make a little bit of it. But. Okay. We got like a 30 minute drive to the next one. The next one's the Deland one. Carly, oh, this okay. is the one that Carly says is really good. I didn't go down this aisle yet. Okay. Yeah, I when I went, I went on a road trip to St. Augustine by myself before I met Dalton, mm -hmm. and I stopped at that one. She was looking for me. I was, I found shoes at that one. <laughs> There's some blue cornflower. This is, a, that's a darker blue. Oh. That's a different, but it has the lit, that's pretty cool. Yeah. And it's not a bad price, it's only seven bucks. Yeah, I'm there. I don't think it's worth it. You wanna pass? Yeah. All right, we're gonna see you guys in the next door. All right, yeah. we made it to <laughs> You're gonna run into Goodwill. Me. <laughs> <laughs> you and Carly are fighting. There's right no now. Goodwill on this side, um, I can't, yeah. oh, it's over there. It's over there. Um, this is definitely the Goodwill that Carly has been going on about, ranting and raving, mind you. I went one time since the day we met so i went one time it, it's got a high standard that it's got a little so we're gonna check it out what'd you say you bought here last time shoes um, i got like some uggs and birkenstocks i think and some like asics and something we got two pairs I don't remember. of echo yucca and sandals these ones are eight these ones are ten um, I think I can see the justification for the price difference. I'm only gonna get the ones that are 10. These vans are, look at these colors, they're $20. Yeah. I can like kind of understand why they price vans up because people actually buy them. That's true. Ooh. Look at the flowers on these Converse. How much are they? 15, they're dirty inside. I wonder how much these boots are and what brand they are. I can't even read it. Rodeo Rider for 40 bucks. I feel in, inclined to look them up. 15 bucks? Blitzer in 19. Yeah. It's, it's pretty good. With that condition. Some Star Wars vans? Sperry's. Oh. That's a no-go. 
and some Air Force One shadows for 20 bucks. And just that's just not gonna come clean, so I'll leave those behind. Some more Air Maxes down here, also 20. Hey, these are 16. 16? Yeah. You think that'll come out in the wash? Probably. Yeah, that's good. Do you know what model this is? Air Max 90. 90. They're your size if you want them. I might try them on. And some Pure Boosts, something, 16. Too much for those. That's um, Clemson Maggie Reacts for 15. They are a men's seven and a half though, so. I'm a pass. No, 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 no. All right, so far, Carly's Goodwill is not looking too hot. Anything? Would you, would, do you still pick up fresh foams? They're 15. They're, They're in really 15. good condition. Not for 15. Not that model. Oh, those are the good ones. As long as they're clean. They're big size, but these go for good money. I just sold a pair a week or two ago. I'll throw a comp up on the screen on Poshmark. I think it was like 50 bucks. What you got there? 15. They're a big size. I think that they're, they don't have a deep, they're, they're fake. They're fake? Yeah. I liked the print. Yeah. They are cute, but they are not Adidas. Your Goodwill isn't really living up to. I'm sorry. What you? Well, I didn't go to the Home Goods yet, so like, <laughs> don't speak. Oh, look, another pair of these. Huh. Are they same size? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Like I said, these wedges do really, really well. Got some Teos sandals. A little out of season, but these are clean, in good condition. I'll probs grab them. All right. That is everything. I'm gonna go to the home stuff. All right, you go to the home stuff. I'll see if they uh, have a kids section. Oh yeah, it's over there. All right, so I just got over to the kids section. I thought it was the kids section, but I think they got women's shoes over here. I uh, found a pair of Hoka's. They're only 10 bucks. They got a little, like they're not separating. Well, maybe they are. They're starting to. Like I can't pull it apart. But, I don't know, that, and it's an older model, the Gaviosha one, and they have the wrong insoles in them. Probably gonna leave these behind. Only 10 bucks though, so. But, doesn't meet the standard. There's some Brooks here, pretty bad tread wear on the bottom though. Good prices for personal, someone needs some running shoes, so I will leave those for someone else. Yeah, this thrift store just doesn't have really good stuff, especially since I just put shoes on. I just feel like everything's just meh. There's the Jordans in the case for 60 bucks. A bunch of old Apple TVs for 50 a piece. Guys, come on now. They put the stickers on the label of these. That is ridiculous. Doesn't look like anything good. $15 for some NES cartridges and they might have ruined the labels on them. Shout out Goodwill. Let's go see what Carly's up to. Over here in the actual kids section, I found these uh, Jordan 5 Lowe's. Um, unfortunately though, I'd pick these up. They're only 10 bucks, so the price is good. I'd pick these up if they were like a 5Y or bigger, uh, so I could sell them as women's, but they're 3Y, and there's literally none of this model ever, not ever sold, but in the past 90 days sold on eBay. Uh, and a ton listed, zero sold, so I'm gonna leave these behind. But still a nice pair of shoes for 10 bucks. There she is. Oh, we got some Fiesta wear. All right, this is why she talks so highly in the store. Is that one the $6? I like these colors. Aren't they nice, and these big ones? It's only $4.99 for all three of these big wow. ones. I can't find the match for this, and it's so pretty. It's only $2.99. Does it need a match? I feel like it doesn't. For $2.99? No. It's kind of chipped a little more. Is this, wait. Oh, well, they have a ton of video games over there. You think they got anything good? Maybe. Pac-Man World 2 and flat out. Oh geez, they charge $6 a piece for these. Get out of here. Get out of here. All right, I didn't really double check all this stuff. We got a lot of sandals, that's not really good. It's, it's winter time. Will that's you okay. be ready for summer? That's okay, come summertime. Thirty-seven. These would be a women's like seven, seven and a half. These are nice. For Sixteen bucks. As long as these. Okay, kid. As long as these stains come out, I'll be good. These closer to nineteens for fifteen. 
I might put these back, actually. So they are a one that's 11. So, not a great size. Are you ready? Okay, yeah. All right, on to the next one. True or false? This girl looks like she needs some Jimmy John's. <laughs> Sometimes I can just like look at her in the face and be like, you know what, <laughs> she needs food right now or the team's gonna we're, be a problem. We were standing in line and he looks at me and he goes, you need food, don't you? <laughs> yeah. Yep. So Jimmy John's it is. I could just hear your smile happening. <laughs> anyway, uh, we are five minutes from Mexico. Well, Jimmy John's has been consumed. We are ter we're doing terrible on time, and you're mocking me. It's because we got an oil change. Yeah, we got an oil change. We got Jimmy John's. It is already 1 p.m. That's we, okay. We've gone to like th two Goodwills. All I have to do the rest of the day is take a bath. <laughs> Must be nice. Just kidding. I don't have anything else to do today. I already got my listings done. Light turn green. We got to go. <coughs> on 34% battery. You're on 34% battery? <laughs> yeah. yeah, Jimmy John's made me a little tired. He's also limping from the gym. Yeah, we took a long break from the gym. Yesterday was leg day, and I'm just not adapted to it, you know? The shoe section was a little crowded. Oh, goodness. <laughs> All right. I'm about to just... I don't know where Carly went. I'm just talking to myself now. These Converse are wild, but they're $36. No, it's $36 wild. 22 for Vans, $30 for Cole Hans. This one must be pretty expensive. Uh, these are only 10, size 11 and a half. It's going to be this lifters, 25. And some Zebas, but they're also 25. Some Kyrie's for 25. Some GS. Jordan's also 25. 25 is the going number at this one. I don't even really know that I'm gonna get these Nikes in the cart. Some Nike Shocks, these are only 15. These are in good condition. I'll grab these for 15. Didn't seem like they're separating, so that's good. We'll definitely pay 15 for those. Oh, these books are only 13, and they seem to be pretty clean. Kind of an older model, Addiction 13, but they're just, they're really clean, so I'll go ahead and do those. Got these Adidas, I don't know the name of this model. Ozelia, 30 bucks. Too much for those. Got some more Brooks, an old model. They're only 10.99. This is a really old model, though. think about those. Some Saucony Trail shoes. Don't see the match for them. Looking for a great, there it is. There it is. 25 bucks. Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. All right, we got a couple pairs of Jordan 1s in the kids. Jordan 1 mids, 10 bucks, 4Y. I'm probably gonna pass on them. Just don't go for a whole lot. There's some Vapor Max down here for 30. Definitely gonna pass at 30. And the other pair of Jordan ones. These are only 10 bucks. Yeah, I'll do these for 10. Snacky free runs. Only 14. If they're good men's size. I'll probably probably do these. Yeah, these are men's 11. It's a decent model. Some six rings in the kids for for forty dollars. That's Air Max nineties also in the kids. Ten bucks. Not too much for those. Kids nineties don't really do well. Some more Kyrie's. Thirteen dollars. Yeah, I'll take those for fourteen. Ten dollars for these. I don't know. I might keep these to be honest with you. Add them to the toddler collection for the wall in the garage. $10 is definitely a go. Eight and a half on these Brooks. Again, a little bit older of a model, but in that condition, definitely gonna grab them. <sighs> the GTS 16s. Very old. And they got a little staining on the inside. <sighs> yeah, I'll probably pass on those. And then the Shocks. It's a good model, good condition. As long as they're not separating. 
These like to separate down here at the, uh, whatever you want to call these. Yeah, I think these are in good condition. Looks like we're only getting four pairs at the stop. I'm going to put these two back and then go find Miss Carly and see what she is doing. There's so many people here. Yeah, I know. She's bringing out shoes. You think she'll let me just go through the bins? I mean, we could try. Fourth shot, right? Do you mind if I look in here? It's either empty or all the shoes in the bottom are just like insanely light. Mm -hmm. Alright, next door it is. Only got four here. We have arrived at store number something. Four? I'm really... Question mark? Five question mark? I'm really hoping that this one kind of has some good stuff. So, we'll uh, see. This, this day's been kind of slow, I'm not going to lie to you. I found some good homes up here. Yeah, that's true. Oh, just putting shoes out. That's a plus. That's some Reebok CrossFit. Two mega price. Twelve ninety nine. Black gum. Men's tin. Good colorway. Good size. Definitely wear those. Some Skechers Arch Bits for ten. Yeah, Arch Bits do well. Machine washable. Oh, a Solo. Solo is a good brand. This looks like a very old model though and i feel like it's it's about to come apart i don't want to be the one to rip it off but solo is a good brand definitely keep an eye out for those especially their newer stuff they make like mountaineering boots and really high-end hiking boots that can do very well on some reeboks these are clean no oh, but they're 25 dollars got some more nanos another good colorway probably the same size yeah men's 10 13 bucks Oh gosh, you jump scared me. <laughs> You're just a scary person. Got some Sorel Caribous for 20. I'm gonna have to check and see what these are actually going for. I'm gonna look them up. And somebody cut the size tag out of them. Excuse me, your memory. Well, I can figure it out. There's one size on it. Gotta look those up. Oh, these are nice. Colhan. No, these are not Colhan. They are Colhan. They just have fragment design insoles. Interesting. Is this a collaboration? Colhan. Have you heard of Fragment Design? Nope. No idea what it is, but I'm gonna look them up. Some more Reebok Nanos. So 13. Another men's size 10. I mean, these are all my size. I might have just popped off on some workout shoes. Some Colhan. Uh, what do you call these? Chelsea. No, not Chelsea. Chaka boots. As long as they're a good size, 10 and a half for 13 bucks. It's a good buy. These Adidas are clean. I have no idea what this model is though. They're only 15. And then, you know, good size, one in sight and a half. I'll definitely grab these for 15 in that condition. All right, all right, this, this stops off to a good start. Some $13 Brooks. These old, uh, I mean, it's not a great model. And it's got some, some uh, snags in the inner heel. Oh, here's these Metcons. These, this model does really well, but not with tears on the inside like that. Got some uh, platform. Those are cute. Look how cute the turn one. Yeah, how much are they? They're 13. 13? Would you pick these up? Um, yeah, just because how clean they are. It's not an expensive model by any means, but it's not a terrible price. Got some platform court visions. They seem huge. Yeah, they're one is 11, so I'll, I'll eat those. They gave me a vibe Got some vegan dance goes. These used to do really well. I'm gonna have to look them up, see how they're doing now, but at one point Dansko Vegans were a really good find. Seeing a lot of Brooks today. Everything's just been kind of old. Goes 14s. Yeah, too much Tripler. Prada. Uh-oh. Yeah, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that these are inauthentic. Yeah, I'm, I'm not feeling confident on those. Oh, I see some Hoka's back there. Um, these Brooks, a little too much weight on the bottom. $13 for these, in excellent condition. I walked right by those. There's a little, I don't know what that is. Doesn't seem like a big deal. These ones don't have insoles. They're only 10 bucks. They got a lot of wear on the bottom now. I'll pass on these, but the other ones, good find. I Carly missed them. Right by, I was looking at those Nikes. I literally walked right by them. Yeah, this is why I gotta double check her work sometimes. Are these fake? 
I've not seen a tag. These Tory. These are Tory birches. Are they? Let me see. Nine dollars. Nine dollars for some Tory birches. What you think? I don't know, cause like they don't. I feel like people buy it because of it being Tory, and they're not very obvious that they're Tory birch. So yeah, I don't know. and their sneakers don't do yeah. amazing. The last few that I had, I sat on for a long time. Hmm. Those New Balances are really dirty, but they're so cute. These ones are missing one of the insoles, just one. That's rude. Ooh, these Ultras are clean. And there's another pair of those. Uh, these are only ten bucks. Oh Dang, wow, those are these really are clean. Super clean. Those are like brand side? new. Uh, you're not allowed to have those. I'm just kidding. And here's another pair of the Reebok Nanos, also $13. Another men's size 10 and a half. I found like four pairs of these, all in my size. Dang. Well, you can keep one pair then if you found so many. <laughs> I'm glad that you let me do that. Another Bolo at this stop. We got some Kizzix. These are in kind of rough rough shape though. Yeah. I don't think that they're uh, in good enough condition to sell, but Kizzix, nice little Bolo. If you want to know all the Bolos, link to my Bolo guide down in the description <laughs> below. Are these Docs? You got some Doc Martens with the Ross sticker for $26.99 in there. There are Men's 9. How much are they here? 10 bucks. I'd pay 10 bucks for these. Some more Brooks. Again, very dirty. And oh my gosh, how does that even happen? <laughs> Look how cute these are. Those are so cute. And Prestos are a little too warm for me, for my lacking. And some Blazer Lows. And. A youth three and a half. So I'm gonna leave those. <laughs> You're taller than me, that's why I missed it. Yeah, I can just see things that you can't. Are yeah. these the same ones or the other They store? look exactly the same and they were a small size too. I same price? Like. I think so. We'll have to we'll have roll to run, that back. <laughs> roll it back. Oh, we have some two seventies. Thirteen bucks. These are a women's six and a half. I do I, I can do that. That cart's pretty full. Cart's getting full. I see some, some Jordans. These are a nice colorway. And they are in good condition. Good stars, good heels. Women's size seven. They're just like, the tongues are dirty. Would you rock these? Those look so small. They're, they're a seven? They're women's seven. I'm a seven. seven and a half. Yeah. Would you squeeze your foot into these? Because like- I mean, I'll try these them These are on. nice. You should, they, they should be your new gym shoes. I'll try them on. These are crazy. <laughs> the leather on this is just like immaculate. You don't find Jordans with this good of leather on them every day. <laughs> I'm excited. Did you already walk through the uh, home goods? Yeah, there aren't very many here. Didn't find anything good? Mm -mm. I thought you were bragging about how much good I stuff was. you find. I was, I found Fenton last time. Are those more shoes? Or no? Yeah. Oh my goodness. I guess we got here at the right time. Look at that, we got some Cortezes. $20 though, six and a half Y. What do you think, 20 bucks? What would you sell those for? 40 to 50. You're always for a double up. We're always here for a double up? All right, she said it. She's the boss. That is a one-to-one -one replica of a New Balance sole on these <laughs> Just Fabs. I looked at those, they look so dirty. Shadows. I swear these. I swear I saw these at the other store. You don't mean. This is another because I, I. I remember pointing out like the. I don't know. Maybe they like transferred them. You know how they switch things between stores. Yeah. Maybe they, must they have were been just quick today. Doing it. <laughs> <laughs> they were real quick today. They took it straight from the shelves. To the truck. All right. I'm going to go through all this and see what we're keeping. See you in a second. All right, we finally got a really good stop on our hands. I'm picking up these 15 pairs. Uh, the two that I put back, the Dansko Vegans just don't quite sell for as much as they used to. And um, the Sorel Caribous, they were women's size six. If they were like a men's size, I'd probably pay 20 for them, but leaving them behind at that size. These Cole Hans, I'm, I'm kind of taking, a, like it's not a gamble because they're only 15 bucks um, and they're in good condition. So at the end of the day, they'll still sell for like an average Cole Hans price, but the Fragment collab that it's with, there's not much sales history and everything listed is like well over $100. There's one sold that's like around $100, um, so that might be a really good find, but it might take a long time to sell. Carly found a butter dish. A Longa Burger butter dish. You a Longa Burger? It's $14.99, but I think it's worth it. All right, on to the next one. I almost didn't want to stop here. I'm glad we did. Yeah, I'm so glad we did. Because right, this one was kind of out of the way in Sanford. There's another big main Goodwill in Sanford. Mm -hmm. Um, and I almost didn't want to come out here, but I'm very, very glad that we ended up in there. Oh, I just got a, a cha-ching, 
just sold some Converse. That timing was immaculate. I said it before. <laughs> it really was. Sold two minutes ago. Which one? Are those the Wonder Woman one? Wonder Woman. I just are, photographed those. Those are like $8 at the Antique Mall in Coffeeville, Kansas. Before I get into what I'm getting into, you haven't really said much in today's vlog. Do you, what, I don't what's really been have on a lot to lately? say. Um, especially today. You know what? Listen. Uh -huh. I support the shoe niche now. Now that I see, listen, this has been on my mind. Now that I'm photographing them and I'm seeing how fast the shoes are flipping, that was like never happening to me with clothes. It did sometimes, but I guess I was just a bad, either a bad seller or shoes really are the niche you should go with. And also just like the amount of shoes you can find compared to like, I find like one home decor thing, like at every shop and like I'm picky, but also you can find- so I feel like you can find more clothing but I don't think clothing sells as fast as shoes do. I'm just so surprised. Like every, I feel like every time we ship, I'm like, oh, I just photographed that like yesterday. So shoes flip so much faster than I expected. My, my hopes are high again. I was getting tired of sourcing because we weren't really finding much, but after that store, we got, we got Hoka's, we got the Jordan ones. We got like four pairs. <laughs> we got four pairs of Converse, or not Converse, but uh, Reebok CrossFit Nanos. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just gonna keep rambling on so her arm gets even tireder and tireder. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm ready to keep sourcing all day. I li didn't I just tell you, we were talking about how I found Longaburger at the St. Augustine Goodwill. Like, I was yeah. just talking about that and I haven't found it in a long time, so that was pretty exciting. Yeah, look what you found. A butter dish. A longer burger. <laughs> I got a longer burger than you do. <laughs> anyway, we'll see you at the next door. Bye. All right, we made it. Carly's interested in this couch over here. How much? Only a hundred dollars. That's only a hundred bucks. <laughs> it's clean too. It's nice. Yeah. All right, you can look at the women's. I'm gonna go check out the men's. Okay. Or if you can come to the men's with me, I don't care. You do you. Got some Timberlands down here. Yeah, they just got a ton of smuts on them. And they're 20 bucks. Timberland is one of those brands that the thrift store always prices up. Um, what about TNs? What's up? TNs. You got some TNs? And they're kind of dirty, but yes. they're ten dollars. Ten dollars? Um, put it in the cart, I'm gonna think about it. Um, our SpongeBob vans are only $13, but he got some stains on the toes. I'm not leaving. Those don't go for all too much. Um, I got some more Brooks. Older model. Just the heels kind of, kind of worn in. React Planets. These are MDs. 10. Uh, I've been passing on women's MDs. Okay. Those dicks had a broken heel. Those dicks. They are a Dix Sporting Goods collab. That's why I said Dix. They are Brooks. Brooks. Dix collab. <laughs> oh, jeez. All right, men's cleared up. We got some Metcons here that are insanely dirty for 20. Some Roshis with Trust Process is stitched on the hill for 15. Uh, we got some more Mizunos here. Some more Wave Prophecies. 15. I'm gonna give these a good bin test. They're a possibility. $20 for these, Brooks. Uh, it's a no. We got some more Brooks. What does that say? Hyperion Tempo. Never sold this model before. Does need a run through the washing machine, but they're only 13. I don't know if Hyperion Tempo is a higher end or a lower end. What do we have here? Air Max 2017, 16. Yeah, this bubble is kind of flat. We might have the first like strikeout on our hands. Yeah, I didn't find anything here. <laughs> um, these two, I'm putting back because the comps aren't great and the condition isn't great. If they're in better condition, I definitely grab them. I'm uncertain about the authenticity of these because the ones that I look up online have a different style tag, but some of them have this style tag. I don't know, I'm uncertain about them and just because of the condition, like it's not worth having them authenticated or taking the gamble on them, so I'm leaving them. And the Brooks are confirmed a very low end model. So in this condition, I'm not paying 13 for them. On to the next. What? Your shoes are so swaggy. Did you guys hear that? Don't ever, no. My shoes are so swaggy. I didn't know you were filming. When we pulled in here, Carly exclaimed that she loves this place. And uh, yeah. I'll let you know if I love this place here in about 20 minutes. <laughs> As of right now, this guy is giving us a, a weird look. Well, you are holding a camera. 
Well, that's not a weird thing. That's yes, weird. it is. It's, it's pretty normal. It's 2024. Do you think someone's hiding those shoes? You want me to check them out? Yeah. There's so many. Huh? It's like four pairs. I think it's a put back pile. They just didn't want to walk back to the. Yep, we got the reseller throwback pile. Oboes, these are crazy. These are 16? I'll pay, no, they're 15. I'll pay 15 for these oboes. Are they a small size? Is that why? No, they're seven. Yeah. Okay, these throwback because of the uh, tread wear and those are just crappy, but these oboes, that's crazy. I've never found oboes before. Yeah. I found them, but I've never found a pair worth picking up. I better test test out the bending on those before we leave. Make oh. sure that there's not a reason they were thrown back. I just thought it was those court royals or whatever. No, they're the, like the black and red ones. Three pairs. Oh, maybe it's this guy. Oh, this guy's okay. putting shoes out. Yeah, you're right on time. Oh, yeah, Hoka's over here for 25. Those are I know. I'm gonna think about these. They're not insoles. You already have a pair of Hoka's that don't have insoles in the garage. And they're missing the size tag. What are these? Those are LeBrons. Not a very good model, though. Mm. Every time we come here, the men's shoes are in a different... Oh, they moved them over there. Oh, yeah. We got some triple black Air Force ones for 17. It's too much wear on them. Some Brooks Trace for 18. I thought they were Adrenaline 22s for a second. They were Adrenaline 22s. That's a decent price. But for that, no. Are these Dr. Martins? They sure are, but they are $35. Probably not worth paying that much for those. These Adidas hiking shoes, right? 17, that's about much. Sorrel duck boots. For 17, I feel like this is a good price. They're a good men's size 12. Not too bad, not too bad. Some Jordan something or others, 20. Um, I really don't know what these go for. I shouldn't just assume they're not worth anything. I should look those up. These Diodoras are nice. I'm gonna look these up too. Some Diodoras can do good. Got some Fire Red 3s. How much are they? Nine bucks? Yeah, I'm grabbing those for nine. Wash machine will clean those up real easy. And some Astral's for 12. Astral's a good brand. These always sell really well. They're a good size, women's size 7. Nice. These Under Armour's are only 10. It's not bad. And some Docs for 20, but they're a kid's size. 25 for those Adidas Torsions. Can you stop following me? <laughs> Find anything in Home Goods? Hands are empty. Must be a no. Yeah, and the uh, shoes that he put out were nothing special. Mm -hmm. Unless all of the really good stuff is on the other side of the shelf. Maybe. Oh, are those K-Swiss uh, pickleball shoes? These? Yeah. K-Swiss. K-Swiss pickleball. I'm gonna have to look them up to double check. I sold these for 49 before. You think these will come clean in the wash? Everything comes clean in the wash. She's not wrong. It's, it's crazy. Just a little, uh, little shout spray, a little OxyClean. Cold we'll water. Cold water will clean anything. Selena Gomez Pumas. She's, she's kind of getting canceled right now. I don't know if the market is like good or bad. I'm team Selena Gomez. I'm just gonna go on record and say that. I know nothing about why she's getting canceled, but I support her. All right, I'm gonna find a nice little place to look some of this stuff up. Okay. And then we can go to the next one. That's cute. Look at this green jacket. That's blue. That's like teal. That is, that is more blue than green though. It's like, it feels, it might be Shein. Feels what? It's giving Shein. It feels like plastic. Do you think these Balenciagas are one real or two of a <laughs> good price? Both. Well, they are separating. It's like somebody glued them together and they're a hundred bucks, so. Survey says, pass. I'm gonna look into this stuff. I'll let you guys know what I'm passing on and what I'm keeping. I don't know if someone donated this or Goodwill is doing this, but there's a million of those sweatshirts I just showed, like the one I walked by. And I was like, oh wow, look at all these colors. It's all knockoff Lululemon. There's like a whole bunch they of it. They literally have a Lululemon logo punched like on There's like a whole bunch of it in like every color. 
Are they trying to trick people? Goodwill's like, people like Lululemon. Let's put some <laughs> fake Lululemon zippers on it. That's crazy. There's so many colors. Interesting. We are only grabbing four pairs at this stop. These two pairs are really good though. Those elbows and the Sor Sorrells are some nice winter boots. Perfect time of year to be picking those up. Um, Under Armour's are just, you know, they, they're only 10 bucks. Nice, nice uh, bread and butter model. And then these Fire Red 3's, easy pick up at nine bucks. Um, everything up here just doesn't really have comps to justify paying the prices. This is the lower end of the, I mean, for K-Swiss even. Uh, it's one of K-Swiss's cheaper pairs. The Diodora surprisingly don't sell very much. Uh, well, at least their Celta rate sucks. I'm just, I, you know me, I throw things around all the time. Um, these Jordans, um, another pair, I can't pay $20 for them, they don't sell for enough. And then these Astrals just had like, I don't know what happened up here to the toe, but I'm leaving it because of that, so just the four. He has so much energy right now, just I'm, you. I'm, I'm just, I'm lit right now. I'm, right now um so i'm gonna throw a little uh vertical clip on the screen i'm gonna make a short about these we just randomly popped into the goodwill uh that's right across uh the street from our apartment mm -hmm. yesterday and i found some eves saint laurent shoes sneakers um just some all black sneakers they just said saint laurent written on the side of them uh picked them up for 20 dollars really 20 dollars yeah. 15 or 20 dollars um and i had to send them to legit grails website shout out retail recon he's the one that recommended it because check check only does like sneakers yeah but these uh, sneakers i is guess the these word. are sneakers though S check check doesn't do luxury brands that's what it is that's legit the word. grails does luxury brands sent them in cost me 15 dollars little 24 hour turnaround time and they are authentic and i i don't really know what they'll sell for to be honest with you i didn't uh, I didn't see very many pre-owned sold comps, but the brand new comps are pretty high. Like I sold, I saw some brand new listed or sold for like five hundred plus dollars. So these are at least a three hundred dollar sneaker. That's crazy. I'm just putting that out there. So I'm, I'm, lit. I'm, I'm happy. Is that wait, all you wanted to tell them? I just wanted to show them my shoes, and I wanted to tell them that they were real. And if you're not watching my shorts, watch my shorts. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, there's just there's more to this channel than just the long form. Even yeah. though even though 90% of you my subscribers at least are from the shorts. If you're watching longs, hey, shorts are fun. Shorts are fun. Where are we going now? We're going to the Waterford Lakes Goodwill. Waterford Lakes Goodwill. We got two more thrift stores in us. It's 4 p.m. It's been a long day. It has been a long day. I had to get up at seven. That's early for her. <laughs> That's so early. Okay, bye. Peace out, Girl Scout. Can you repeat what you said when we pulled in here? <laughs> I said. <laughs> It's popping in this plaza. <laughs> <laughs> this is the other store that gives me a little bit of claustrophobia because the uh, the shoe aisles. My are shoes like untied. So tight. It's getting untied. Okay, I'm no. talking. Just I'm sorry. <laughs> disrespecting me. Um, they're just they're just always crowded and there isn't very much space in between them. But that's okay. Oh my gosh, look at that bin of Legos. That's a lot of Legos. That is a mess. How much do you think that is? Two hundred dollars. <laughs> I feel like it's more than that. You feel like what? I feel like it's more than that. Nah, they're not that dumb. Some more beat up Brooks. Brooks might be the thrift store sneaker. Brooks are the official face of Goodwill. Every Goodwill has beat up Brooks. These Air Max 90s are 20 bucks. Um, they're women's six and a half. I don't know. I'll probably leave them mind. $20 is a lot for a small size. And some more Air Max 1s this time for 20 bucks and they're also a six and a half. Maybe I should just get out of the six and a half section. All right, let's go to the men's. These Metcons are a nice bright color, but they are 20. This one's getting expensive, but that's all my fault. Right, $15 for these air flights. Um, these are definitely worth looking up. We got some Keen boots up here and there's some Lawas. 13? Yeah, 13 for these Keen boots. I'm gonna have to give them a good bend test, but that's a good price. That Lawa, it's another good brand, and they're Gore-Tex. Yeah, these are these are super nice. Another one that kind of dry rots easily, so I'm gonna have to give these a good bend, but a really good brand, especially if you're in Gore-Tex. It's a newer model. $15 is a great price for those. And we got some $30 Air Max 270 Reacts. Definitely way too much for Reacts. Too much wear on those Brooks. We just got Brooks on Brooks on Brooks. Oh, we got some Air Max, uh, what are these, 98s, I think, for 20 Jeez. $20 is the just going price here. Suede is a little... Uh, I don't know, man. I'm going to look these up. 
They're not a great size. They're a men's size eight. Jambu. Jambu's always tricking me. From a distance, they look like they're well built. Nice shoes. But very cheap retail. Some Cortezes for 20? Yeah, I'm definitely paying 20 for these. Good size. Oh, we got some more Cortezes over here. These are only 15. Triple whites. Women's nine and a half. Yeah. Brooks Levitate 3, <laughs> ton of hill drag. Some some fake knee-high converse. If these were converse, this would be a huge come up, especially being two bears, but not the fake ones. Look at these, I didn't even notice there were some fake Yeezys right here. Should I pick these up? Y'all think these are real? Are these UFOs? These are UFOs, holy crap. And they're like, the odds of these being in good condition on the uppers is crazy. <laughs> I've never found this model before. I mean, I found this model, just not in this material upper. So that's cool. Definitely cool, especially this time of year. Those will sell quick. Looking at these in the light, they look a little dirty. Do you think that material on those UFOs will clean in the washing machine? Yeah. Yeah? I think so. Okay. I'm gonna get them. <laughs> oh, we got some Cobes. These are $20, they're a kid's 6Y. But like, do I want to leave behind Kobe's? Let me see the bottoms. That's easy. I That's gotta pick. pick all of that out. The picking's the easy part. Some Jordan Future Lows. These are $20, but that's definitely too much What are you stepping on? Futures. What are you crunching? Is it that? I don't no. know. Oh. Oh. I'll just look these up. I'll be responsible and look into them. I'm gonna look up a few things here. All right. I'm not talking to you, I'm talking to my, oh. my loyal subscribers. Uh, I'm, I'm a just loyal kidding, subscriber. I was talking to you. Um, I'm gonna look some of this stuff up, then we go check out the case, and then we can get out of here. Okay, we've dwindled it down quite a bit. We're just getting these two Cortezes, the Ufos, and these Lawas. These Lawas are actually really good condition, so for what were they, 15, it's a great price. Um, surprisingly, these Nike Air Flight 2013s don't sell for very much. Same with the uh, Air Max 98s. They have a ton listed, not a lot sold. The bottoms of these Kings are pretty dried out. Um, my hunch about the soccer cleats was correct. They are a very low end model. Used sells for like 20 bucks. And then the Kobe's, there's just a bunch listed, not very many sold. Not a, not a great model of Kobe's. So all that's getting put back. We're just getting these pairs. Carly finally bought something. I'm getting the goose mugs. She's getting the goose mugs. People just like when you talk. I don't have any... Prove me right. Everybody in the comments, let, me, let us know. <laughs> Your favorite parts of the video is when Carly talks. They're gonna say no. Um, we have one thrift store left. One to go. It is 4.30 p.m. This is, this is a heck of a long day. Yeah, I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. At the stop sign. Turn okay, bye. The <laughs> okay, I, I know I said we had only one stop left. There's a giant hair on here. There we go. I know I said we only had one stop left, but Carly has made the executive decision that we have two stops left. And the other one is that lovely supermarket Aldi back there. She needs a treat and she needs I a just dinner. want some ice cream. She needs ice cream. For later, for like after dinner. <laughs> She's gonna probably eat it before dinner. She's just saying that to save face, but we made it to the last stop. Um, hopefully we get some last stop magic today, but usually, historically, this one's pretty slow when we get here late in the day. Yeah, there's so. a lot of people at the Goodwills now. Yeah, I ruined thrifting single-handedly. No, 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 as, as it gets later in the day. I gotcha, that makes more sense. It's less busy than the other one. I got a dead wheel on that one. That one's full of trash, that one's full of trash. This one works. Where are you headed? Uh, with you to the city. You're sticking with me? Yeah. No way. You think those boots up there are worth anything? Brazos and Kamek. Some $40 Steph Curry's. $40 random Nikes. $50. You picked the crowded aisle. TWR Masses. $25 Colons. These uh, cleats are still here. Still worn out. The tread hasn't magically gotten better since last time. Oh, look at these guys. For a while. $35 though, jeez. Managers, racer three, please. Managers, racer three. They're your size. They're giving Christmas. I think these were here last time. I could be wrong with that. Yeah, 25. I gotta look these up. I don't know if they're high end or not. Probably not with my luck, but it's worth a search. Oh, we got some Space Jam Crocs. Ah, but they're missing the freaking strap on that. 
I should have known something was wrong with them. Do you pick what up? Do you pick up nine nine sevens for fifteen? For fifteen. They're pretty uh, cool colors and pretty clean. They are pretty clean. Yeah, we can pick them up. Not gonna be a huge profit, but they're clean, quick, and easy to list. Ugh, Cardis. Yeah. They're thirty dollars though. Twenty too much for these. How much? Twenty. Yeah. Well, let me see. I'll double check. Okay. I'll look them up. Yeah, this one looks like a lackluster stop. How much are those? Eleven. Are they in good condition? They yeah. look small. They're small? Not too small. Well, yeah, they're women's five and a half. And we don't do five and a halves. I have to look these up because this is left in, and these were just put out today, and they work. Left in? Yeah. Is that a good brand or something? Yeah. So I have to look them up, but I regret leaving the carousel horse at the other Goodwill. Okay. So I'm so gonna you're not gonna make that mistake twice. No, I'm gonna look these up. These uh these Converse are actually probably gonna be a pickup. You're welcome. They will probably sell for like 55, 60 bucks. Double up. Are those for you or are those for the booth? The booth. Okay. Um, but you found the only things that we're picking up at this stop. I don't know if you guys caught the last video, but they still have some uh, Jordan 3s in there for $150. I don't know if you can see that. I also don't know that they're authentic or not, but at that price, I don't even care to authenticate. I'll just wait and hopefully see if they go half off. And if they go half off, then I will, uh, I will try to authenticate them. You think someone hid those shoes over there? Do you think that those Maybe. are good shoes? I'm gonna say no. <laughs> I said maybe. Is what? Maybe. Maybe. They're just some Adidas cloud foams for $25. So that's a no. Carly just offered to get a job at this I, Goodwill. It, it, uh, no. No? <laughs> <laughs> just so she could be the shoe pricer. Well, not pricer, but the uh, just work in the back so she can know when the shoes are coming out. And I am all for that. Okay, no, say why I said that. Um, because one of the persons quit and they've been putting less shoes out lately because now they only have one shoe person instead of two shoe people. At least that's what the cashier said. Yeah. And you were like, oh, I could just get a job here. <laughs> oh, here's this. Gonna, yeah. Is this unlocked? Yeah, that's unlocked. All right. Well, I just shut the trunk. I was getting ready to say how full the trunk is. Um, it was a solid sourcing day, but the best haul yet is about she's to happen. about to happen. In this, in this Aldi right here. <laughs> There's no telling what she's going to come away with. <laughs> At a place like oh this. my gosh, they also said they put out new like Valentine's chocolates. Oh, maybe I'll get that. <laughs> I'm trying to not eat all this nonsense this year. This is it for know? me. It's January. Well, you buy it. It's in the, it's in the I'm going to put it in a lockbox. I'm going to eat it, you know? And she's probably going to buy a ton of stuff with folic acid in it. And just We're not going on that right now. <laughs> All right, we'll see what we end up with. What is this? I just saw this on their Instagram. I had to get it before it sold out. This is Carly's treats. This is my treats. We're just built different. Yeah, that's what it is. You're going to eat all the Rolos when we get home. I already ate all the Rolos. <laughs> and now we have actually got Carly in her natural habitat. Okay, taking pictures <laughs> for Instagram. Picture. In the ice do cream Do I want section. mint chip or do I want the like chocolate gelato? Um, I vote mint chip because chocolate gelato is garbage. <laughs> I'm in it for chocolate, but but I got chocolate, so mint chip. Oh, they also have cookie dough, though. What are, what's this up here? Keto ice cream. My hand's cold. You gotta hurry. Okay, I'm done. Um, you see those mochi things? Yeah. Oh, they got cookies, cookies and cream. And cream yeah. <laughs> yeah, see, this is my problem. I'd eat so good if I had nothing to do with this one. You're gonna have to carry this. Okay, okay. All right. <laughs> All right. <let's... laughs> this looks like. <laughs> this is a typical Aldi trip for her. All right, let's get out of here. What did you just say? I should have bought three boxes of chocolate. <laughs> listen, she... listen. The problem with Aldi is when they have something new, it sells out really fast if people are talking about it, and then you can't get it again. Yeah. So until next year. Let me know down in the comments if you are an Aldi stand because we are definitely uh, fans of. Aldi I'm in stand, like three Facebook groups. <laughs> yeah, she has a problem. <laughs> But um, without rambling on about all of you anymore, that's, that's gonna wrap up our sourcing day. We, uh, how many stores we hit today? Seven? Is that many? I think seven stores. That's pretty Dang. good. We haven't done that many thrifts in a long time. Yeah. Uh, but just recently, we did a little sourcing trip that included some like retail stores and other mm -hmm. stuff. Um, click this thumbnail in the uh, top right corner if you wanna see some more sourcing content. If you're not ready, if you're not done binging, uh, click that. Um, I would I be over it, us. I, I think you'd enjoy it. Uh, but with that being said, I'm ignoring Carly because she's rude to me. Uh, with that being said, we'll see you in the next one.